So a relatively pretty slow day for the NASDAQ market, but I also wanted to share the series of economic reports that are going to be released tomorrow, one hour before the market opens. So if we go ahead and break this down, we have initial claims, continuing claims, retail sales, retail X sales, we have import prices, import prices X oil, export prices, and these are all the reports that are getting released one hour before the market opens. On top of that, we have two very significant companies experience some very significant moves. So Lyft itself due to earnings uh, has gapped up 32%. At one point, it was up to highs of $20.25. I'm not too sure if you guys heard about this, uh, but there was an actual like uh, error uh, in the earning report that had to be corrected um, during one of the earnings call and the Lyft team wasn't even aware. I think it was the CFO that was on the phone wasn't even aware of this um, error that was presented to everyone that caused the price to go up to highs of 2025, quickly corrected itself, and then has been slowly climbing its way back up. Overall, the earnings was actually fine, but I think it was because of that um, error that was actually reported in that earning report um, brought a lot of uncertainty and kind of like removed the hype um, of of what the report could have been. Uh, the other one is Upstart. Upstart reported earnings, but this one saw a significant drop. I know a lot of people like to either focus on buying the dip. I know some people like to focus on going with the trend and or preparing for a potential short position. Um, Upstart doesn't really surprise me. If you look at, look at this on the overall day chart, it's been relatively pretty bearish ever since it made its highs of 401. Um, so now that it's selling off, again, just looking at recent patterns, uh, it hasn't been very, very bullish to say the least, right? It does have a common support at $20, um, $20 price point. So just something to take into consideration. But uh, Lyft itself looking pretty overbought, pretty overvalued. Let's see how long this hype continues. You can see the volume itself that it's experiencing right now is significantly greater than what it normally experiences. So I'd love to see that once that hype is removed, are we going to hold or are we going to begin to correct ourselves? Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you is NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ, this might just be me and you let me know what you think, but from where the market opened to where we're at right now, the market's been consolidating and days like this suck. And the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted you to be aware of all the economic reports that are going to get released tomorrow that can hopefully put the market in a more favorable position for you, right? For those that are waiting to take a trade that's actually worth it. Maybe that once this, these reports come out, the market can have more of a clear direction instead of all this consolidation. I personally don't like trading these choppy markets. I like when direction is clear, when it's bullish or when it's bearish. So I can choose to go long or to choose to go short. I like to keep my trading simple. So this is why I wanted you to be aware of tomorrow and hopefully that encourages you to not force a trade for something that really isn't presenting itself today, right? quality over quantity. And again, I'm going to uh, be very happy to uh, recap those series of economic reports that get released tomorrow. Uh, and that's going to be one hour before the market opens. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate. Feel free to comment down below. And I'd love to invite you to my live trading session tomorrow where you get to see all of my entries, all of my exits. But most importantly, you get to hear the thought process behind every trade I take. And if you want to tune on in, it's the second link in the description down below to learn more. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.